I never thought I'd find myself so deeply rooted in the Apple ecosystem. I decided to give Final Cut Pro a try. So I downloaded it and used it for my last two videos and I think I like it, but I want to give it a fair chance because honestly, editing videos on my MacBook Pro is so much slower than my production PC. But then I remembered Hackintoshes exist. Hackintosh is basically using a PC not developed by Apple or sold by Apple and running Mac OS on it. Now, there's a huge community dedicated to getting this stuff working full of people that are way smarter than me. So we're gonna take a guide and see if we can take my old gaming PC and run Mac OS on it. So the specs in this PC are an i7-7700K, which is a four core, eight thread CPU. It's running on a Z270 motherboard and has 16 gigs of RAM. Now for video production, I would probably up the RAM, but for right now that's just what's in here and we're just trying to see if it even works. The graphics card in here is an AMD Radeon RX 580 with eight gigs of RAM. So we're following a guide I found online um, on TonyMacX86.com. Now I'm at step three now because I wanted to save you all the boring stuff of creating the Mac OS USB boot drive and getting that all set up. So I actually have that plugged into here and now we are going to turn it on and see if we can boot to it and install Mac OS on the dedicated hard drive we have in here. Okay, we're in the BIOS. I need to get it to boot to the install Mac OS Catalina USB drive. Boot, okay, here we have USB. Let's put that to the top. Fingers crossed, I highly doubt this is gonna go smoothly. Missing operating system. Awesome. Well, well this isn't a good start. Let's mess with some of the BIOS settings. CFG lock, disabled, did that. Oh God, I figured I would at least get, you know, a couple steps in before running into an issue. I don't know how to turn off secure boot. Delete platform key to disable secure boot. That sounds promising. What could possibly go wrong? Big bucks, big bucks, no whammies, no whammies. I hate everything. Okay, we are in. A little help from Reddit actually got me going. And what I found out was that I was actually formatting the USB drive wrong. So what you actually need to do is make sure that when you're in disk utility and erasing your USB drive, Make sure you go to view and check show all devices. And then when you go to erase your drive, um, make sure you have it set to the GUID partition when you erase it. And then um, you should have no issues like I did. So let's continue our adventure. This is what I want, okay. I also turned off the RGB on the PC. That's very, not Mac-like, authentic experience. So no colorful lights, no fun. Okay, we made it in. Um, there's a little bit of troubleshooting. I turned the cameras off for it because it was taking forever. Long story short, um, when you're in the Clover boot menu, right before you click um, to try to install from the USB drive, um, go into the options and put hyphen V at the end of your boot options. It's like the first um, option, uh, under options, under settings. And uh, that'll give you a readout as it's installing. So when you do inevitably have an issue, um, you can read the line that it stopped on and Google it and you can get a resolution. So my issue was with the NVMe drive. Um, it didn't like it for some reason and there was a specific file 
I needed to copy over into my drivers folder. And then once I tried again, it worked. It says to go to disk utility. This is our M.2 uh, NVMe drive and it's detecting it 256 gigs. That is correct. And format choose APFS. Install Mac OS. Continue, agree. I read it. You guys saw it. And now we just hope that works. Okay, after a reboot, you go back in and select your new Catalina installation and it should allow you to finish the setup for Mac OS. So that's what we're gonna try. Oh crap, um, I don't have an ethernet cable plugged in. Okay, we now have uh, ethernet plugged in. Customize setting, no, we're not enabling that. Nope. No, we're not using Siri. Setting up your Mac. Holy smokes. This is Mac OS. There's actually a lot of uh, forums and Reddit posts around uh, building Hackintoshes. So if you run into an issue, um, as long as you can kind of pinpoint what the issue might be, uh, you'll probably be able to find uh, an article to help you out. So I went through that. There was a couple of um, files that I need to transfer over uh, in terms of drivers and whatnot, but I'm in. This is uh, Mac OS. And if I go to system preferences, uh, I'm logged into my account. Um, if I go to about this Mac, you can see that it's showing as an iMac 27 inch late 2013 with uh, 4.2 gigahertz i7, 16 gigs of DDR4, and a Radeon RX 580, eight gigabytes. So it picked up everything. Um, it sees everything accurately. I have networking, all my USB ports work. Some things I've noticed, AirDrop isn't showing up. So that's something I have to look into. And um, iMessage doesn't seem to wanna work, but I'm not really interested in those right now. Um, that's not a big deal. The main thing I wanted to do was use this and see if there was any improvement to Final Cut performance. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I have two projects loaded up with the same 18 minute 4K clip that I'm gonna try to render on both and see uh, what the times are like uh, between the Hackintosh and the MacBook Pro, which is a 2018 model with an i5. Okay, so an 18 minute and 40 second render took about 22 minutes on the Hackintosh and 28 minutes on the MacBook Pro. So you're looking at an improvement, um, which is good. Uh, I certainly was hoping it wouldn't be any worse, but is it enough to go through the hassle of doing this? It depends. This Hackintosh in today's market can be put together for about $600, $700. Compare that to this MacBook Pro that costs around $1,600, $1,800. Um, it's less than half the price and you're getting pretty decent performance on this if this is something that you want to take on because it's not going to be easy. There's going to be a lot of hiccups. Um, there's going to be a lot of features you probably won't even be able to get with the Hackintosh. So if you have the money, I would recommend going with either a MacBook Pro on the used market. So like on eBay or Craigslist or go with an iMac for a little bit more. Overall, I'm I'm happy that this even worked. I thought this was gonna be a multi-day effort where I'd have to sleep on it and then probably cancel the video because it got too annoying. But the fact that I have Mac OS running on my old gaming PC is, is awesome. Let me know if there's any other um, tests or anything else you want me to do with the Hackintosh. Um, or some of your experiences with building a Hackintosh, let me know down in the comments. And 
Make sure to drop this video a like if you liked it. If you loved it, subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified the next time we post something awesome. See y'all in the next one.